looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we have a bunch of stuff to go over. We have new LTDs. We have some Wild Card Wednesday um, in, uh, tips, t intro, uh, teaser, I guess. And then we do have a new special stream and new promo coming as of tonight for the special stream tomorrow for the actual promo. Now, we'll go into all that as we do get into the video, guys. But before we do get into everything, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the noti bell. Come join the family. And as per usual, guys, liking the video and commenting does help out a lot. So comment down below. Let me know what you think of the new promo coming as we get into it. Or comment what you think the new promo is going to be. As well as smash the like button once you do all those things. I'd appreciate it. I'd appreciate it greatly. Now, let's get into everything because there is a lot to go over. Now, first, head to the auction block. See if the LTDs are not. Or if they're up. If they're not, we'll head on over to... Of course, we'll head on over to the screenshots and show you guys from there the reveal. They're pretty good. Um, they're not, you know, nothing crazy, but we do have a pretty cool promo reveal coming, which I will go over in a second. So let's go to limited edition. Let's go to newest. All right. They're up. Pretty cool. So Robbie Anderson is the first one that we got revealed last night. Wide receiver for the Panthers. Now, he only has a 95 speed, which is kind of upsetting. He's super fast in real life, so I thought they were going to give him a 96 for sure, but only 95. So you guys, 95 speed. 87 jumping, 96 catching, 96 catch in traffic, 97 spec, 97 short, 96 medium, 96 deep right running. Now, this card's still insane. Had he gotten the 96 speed, would have been one of the best wide receivers in the game. But he will get max route running, either whether it be medium and short or just deep. He will have close to max catching. He's six foot three, which means he's super tall as well. Super skinny though, 190 pounds. Gets 90 agility, gets uh, 94 stamina, gets 83 carrying, 88 change of direction, gets 91 juke move, gets 80 break tackle. Overall, the card is still really, really good. I just kind of wish he would have gotten the 95, uh, 96 speed. Because powered up and chemmed up, he will get a 96 speed, which is good. But a 97 speed would have made him one of the best receivers in the game. A did one speed difference because he would have gotten the 99 speed with Sprinter. Now he's only going to get a 98 with Sprinter. But the card overall is good. Of course, it can be powered up. Not sure how much that power up goes for. Of course, things do um, change from here. Things change from time to time. But for the most part, I am excited to see. Let's get into the next guy on the list here because we do still have another LTD to go over and a few other things to go over. So getting over to Kyle Fuller, who is the other new one now. Robbie Anderson, Kyle Fuller. Honestly, already dropping in price. They're both pretty expensive to start. Like right now, I mean, they look expensive, but they are dropping already. They're not even in the million range, which is where a lot of LTDs do start. Now, Kyle Fuller has been a staple in Mutt for quite a few years now, you know. Not that he's been a meta card, but he's always been around. He always has good cards, and he typically has good hit power, which you will see as we go on down. But the card looks pretty good. 94 speed, 96 excel, 93 agility, 95 jumping, 94 play rec, 95 man, 97 zone, 96 press. Now, the one issue with this card, you can see off the bat, is going to be the speed. Guys like Charles Woodson and all these guys got powered up 95 speeds back in December. We're almost in March. Most people are expecting at least a 96 speed base in some of these cards or a 95 base. Kind of upsetting that he only got a 94. But, of course, powered up and chemmed up, he will have 95 speed, 97 excel, and he will have 99 man. 99 zone and 96 and uh, 99 press as well as 99 play rec so he will be all maxed out corner but only 5 foot 11 only gets a 95 speed would have wished for at least another speed or at least two more speed for the most part the agility is great the strength 64 is whatever 73 catching is decent a little bit low actually 95 jumping is good which you don't uh which um you know you kind of expect that on corners at this point 96 change of direction is super good for a cornerback of course that's what we like catching traffic to 65 tackling is an 80 now here's what's important his hit power is a 87 it's very rare you get corners that can hit Kyle Fuller is one of them he can lay the boom he'll be very useful in the run game in terms of you know making a big hit on the outside on like a stretch play or something trying to hit stick someone especially if you're hit stick heavy here's the issue a lot of people are hit stick uh <laughs> like hit stick happy but the issue of being hit stick happy is that you end up switching on to like Deion Sanders and try to hit stick Bo Jackson just get demolished or you know, give up an easy broken tackle. But guys like Kyle Fuller, if you switch onto him, he will be able to make that hit for the most part. And if he does, he'll at least slow him down more so than Dion will. Or at least make some kind of an animation, right? But that's better for the LTD. Let's get into the next thing. So we will be getting some new things coming up uh, next week as well. We Before we get into the special stream stuff, we have power-ups coming. Finally, after all this time, guys, Wildcard Wednesday will be introducing power-ups again. So here's some guys that could use one. Justin Jefferson is a guy that we've maybe seen a power-up for. A team of the year car without one. Now finally get him to his 95 speed base make him a much better card 
especially on a Vikings theme team. So that's definitely cool. If we go on down, we know there's a few guys that could probably use a power up here. We have to find them. Jack Conklin could use one as a you know tackle for team of the year. A lot of team of the year cards should have one. Jared Cook could use one. So that his Redux card would actually be a lot better. See, his Jared Cook card right here would end up having a 92 speed powered up. You know, the list goes on and on as you go down. You just have to search. And you'll find plenty of cards who are probably power upless. And if they had a power would make them, you know, a, a good enough amount better to where they'd be useful. Uh, Philip Rivers could use a power up. Let's see what else. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Move on down. I mean, for the most part, you guys do get the point, though. Point is, we will be getting power up. So, I don't know how many they'll drop. I think they dropped, like, 10 to 12 last time. No. Is it 24? It, was some, it might have been 24. I don't remember, because in the last years of Madden, I've been a little mixed up with that uh, power up drop. Alex Smith. But for the most part, guys, it would be super cool if we did end up getting some more power ups. Now, 24 of them, they could do a lot of damage with that. But that's better for that, guys. Now, the next thing that's super exciting, guys, they do want to drop, or they are dropping tonight, in a special stream, an all rookie promo, guys. So, special stream tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Stay tuned, guys. But the all rookie promo, gonna be super cool. Gonna pretty much be like kind of like Rising Stars. Except the all-rookie. This is going to be like team of the year for rookie players, right? Now, I don't know. I think it'll just be the current year rookie. I don't think they'll do young players like Rising Stars. But all-rookie promo will pretty much be every rookie from this year. Like, it's, even if they didn't even do that good, they'll get a good card. So, for example, quarterbacks. We have a few. Herbert got a team of the year card, though. So, I don't think he would... I mean, sorry. A uh, honors card. So, I don't think he'll get it. That leaves you with Tua. A few other guys that... I, I'm, pretty much, I'm pretty sure Tua will probably end up taking the cake there. In terms of, you know, there's Herbert. There's Tua. And then, of course, there's Joe Burrow. My mind was blanking for a second. So we got Joe Burrow, Tua. Now, who will get it? Joe Burrow was hurt, so they could give it to Burrow. But let's just say Tua gets it. That would be super exciting. So Tua's card. His last card was an 87. Now, Tua, a Tua is probably like a 96 overall, 97 overall. We'll probably end up being pretty good above 90 speed. We'll have a, the only thing is his throw power. But his throw power maybe I'll finally be able to get up there. Probably 99 uh, when all said and done, chemmed up, uh, chemmed up and maxed out. But... Two is going to be a good card, of course. Now, in terms of other stuff, like Jeff, oh, we have Jeff Okuda, maybe. Again, like I said, even if they had a bad year, there's only so many rookies to fill out an all-rookie promo with. So, we're probably going to get a bunch, even if they didn't have a great year. A few other guys, like I was saying, it could be anyone. It could be just anyone that had a, that, that had a rookie year. Andrew Thomas, uh, Derek Brown, Isaiah Simmons could potentially get another card. CJ Henderson, Dredrick Willis Jr., Makai Becton, Henry Ruggs, Worf, so on and so forth. Kinlaw, Jerry Judy. It could be literally anyone that did have a rookie year this year. So don't don't be surprised if you end up seeing, you know, guys that you're like, oh, you know, he had a bad year. And again, don't you, you may not even see the guy on your team. You know, sometimes they don't, it may not be that big. So we don't know yet if the format's going to be every player per position because they've done that before in the past, like an all rookie team, like quarterback, running back, wide receiver, tight end. They could do it like that. That's how I suspect they'll do it. But they could also just do like a top 10, you know, rookie, just drop, not even top 10, just 10 rookie players that are the all rookie team. I'm more than likely based on the all rookie team name. They're going to be pretty much dropping one player at each position. But if they do end up doing a full team, again, considering there's only so many rookies that, you know, had a, even a year or started, you're probably going to get most of the favorite guys. You'll probably see a Burrow or a Tua. You'll probably see Andrew Thomas, Jeff Okuda, Chase Young could, no, he won't get another card, just got a card. Tristan Wirth, CD Lamb, Austin Jackson, Clavon Chase, and like, like I said, at that point already, we're near, the, we're near the end of the first round. I don't know how many people will actually end up getting one, but it, it's going to be fun. Going to be, hopefully they're good cards. I do, so they could do it one of two ways. They could drop every player on the rookie team the same overall, like 96, 97, 95. It pretty much does wrap up in terms of the all rookie promo. Again, you have to check out tonight at about 7 p.m. Eastern time. Go through and find who is available, who's going to be there, and kind of the format of the promo. And then the promo will probably be dropping tomorrow morning because that's typically... How they do special streams, but guys, that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give the video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. Liking and commenting does help out the channel tremendously, so make sure you're always doing that. But yeah, that's about it. If you guys need coins, head over to my reserve, guys. You probably will need coins for the all rookie promo if it's good. Hoping that we do see high 90 overalls, of course, right? Because what would suck is if they give us like an all rookie team of 95 overalls, that wouldn't be too great, especially for anyone excited for this promo. Hoping 96 at least. 97 is kind of the hope. Again, they could also format it like this. A defensive and offensive uh, all, all, all pro rookie whatever master. And then they'll give us lower cards. That would be a cool format too. But I feel like for an all rookie team, kind of like team of the year, all the overall should kind of be within the same range. Maybe one master, right? Maybe like a master to a, And then all 96 is kind of like team of the year. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm out. Peace.